My childhood was a really unhappy childhood. My father was an alcoholic. My mother was a very, very unhappy person. And I was abused by several people. My childhood was just really tough. When I turned 14, um, it got worse. My father's alcoholism got a lot worse. And um, he was now starting to drink all of his money. So my dreams of going to high school were over. I needed to get a job and I needed to pay the bills. I am the classic story of girl grew up in church. Um, my dad was in the ministry and he was actually an evangelist and he traveled all the time. Through that, we became fiercely loyal to my mom. My mom worked so hard. She was such a hard worker and such a strong woman. And when we became adults, I stepped into the role of being a really good daughter. And my mom and dad divorced. And then that bond just became that st much stronger and that much more unhealthy. Um, things happened that were hurtful and things happened that were hard and things got ugly. I very quickly turned to alcohol as a coping mechanism. By the time I was 16, I was suicidal and uh, I had a tree all picked out. And every morning on my way to work, I'd make that decision. And every morning I'd find a reason to keep going past that tree. It was at that point that um, I ex experienced extreme emotional hurt. I mean, I was just so hurt. I tried all the right remedies that I knew of. I mean, I grew up in church, so Jesus is the remedy, right? So I tried everything. I, I prayed, I, I read every book. I started writing on the walls the promises that I knew were so true, but it wasn't working. Every day, emotionally, was so painful. I truly didn't want to experience life anymore. It really took me almost a full 10 years to really walk back to God and to find that emotional healing. Um, there was just this turning point, and, and it, was, it was Dwight. He asked me how I was doing, and I told him, I, I don't know what to do with all the hurt, Dwight. I don't know where to go with it. I'm praying, I'm begging, I'm, I don't know what to do with all the hurt. And he said two things that I still hold so precious. He said, tell Jesus everything, Leanne. And it was the word everything that changed it for me. Um, and he said, find a trusted friend who's wise that you can tell everything to. And, you know, I was praying the prayers I really thought Jesus wanted to hear. Um, I wasn't telling him everything. And so I started telling Jesus that I was so hurt and that actually life sucked for me. One morning, as I'm going past that tree, I heard this voice that was almost audible. And it said, I have designed you for greatness. Every morning after that, when I drove past that tree, I would tell myself, I have designed you for greatness. And I slowly started to believe it. I'm still in the journey. I'm still processing the hurt. But the definition of remedy is to correct something that's wrong. Jesus is the correction to what's wrong. Um, it doesn't mean the hurt goes away. It doesn't mean that um, he wraps you up in this pretty present, in this pretty package. It means that he corrects what's wrong. I started to forgive people who had hurt me. And through that forgiveness, I was able to feel God's forgiveness in my life. I have such joy. I have found such healing through Christ and his people. Jesus is my remedy, and he's your remedy too.